What's up guys? You guys see the title of this one and we're gonna get straight into the review of this Scotch Porter kit. Now, full disclosure, I have used some of these products before, but I'm going to give it an honest first time review of this from packaging, how likely I am to use any of the four pieces that it comes with, and my just final thoughts overall. In the kit, four pieces. They are counting the comb as its fourth piece. This is the hair and beard conditioner spray. I am very much familiar with this. I'll show you how familiar I am with this. I already have this, I haven't unboxed it yet. And mine squeezed like this because I really use this thing. You get that size and they're about eight ounces. You get a hair bomb. I haven't gotten my hands on this, so this I'm most excited about. And I have a hair conditioner from them. This one is a leave-in, so I'll be trying that one. And the comb. Now, I wanted to make sure I looked at the comb. Now, they're calling it a curl pit, so excuse me for using the wrong term. A lot of people live and breathe by the idea that you have to use a wooden comb. Now, the reason why they say this is the metal pick. Now, obviously, they make combs out of other things other than wood and metal, but the rationale is that the metal can conduct friction. Friction can lead to your hair becoming frizzed out. Well, I think this might just be a hard plastic, which I don't mind. If you know or you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I'm a big fan of Scotch Porter. They are available at Target, which is where I got introduced to the brand. My wife is one of the many target wives that lives and breathes in that store goes in there at least weekly she came across this and introduced me to it and so far I have yet to be disappointed by one of their products this is a gift set what I like about this set is it gets you introduced to some of the products with nice sizes they're not travel sizes or like little tiny bits to get you started off with on the back here it goes into you know your regular packaging it's gonna tell you a little bit about what is there the ingredients is a very good thing because you can always read through it in case of any allergens or anything that you are trying to avoid using but there's nothing too crazy in there there is seed oils in some of these so if again look for allergens or things that you're looking to avoid again the packaging is clean they have the branding it's something that you can get for Father's Day are one of many Christmas gifts so let's open this up first thing I got to give points to is the fact that the package is easy to open and I say that because so many times you come across packaging that you need like tools to open up the packaging that have six layers of tape or some kind of wiring or something on it that makes it damn near impossible. I collect knives and nine times out of 10, when I get a new knife, I feel like I need a knife to open the packaging. So credit to them for you being able to open this with human hands. And everything just comes out easily like that. This I am kind of excited about. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide my beard into two sides. I think I'll go with the spray on the left side and I'm gonna put the leave-in on the right side. See if I can tell if there's any difference in the quality or if there's one that I prefer. I'm gonna do my usual review of the packaging and we'll take it from there. Hair Bomb, I'm still trying to get used to these things so I'm definitely gonna to have to read how to use this. I have had one from them before. One thing that I have to say right away opening this up is there's much of an improvement on this. This is a very creamy hair bomb. The one that I had before, there was little grits that I felt you had to work and mash out. It almost felt like little tiny gritty pieces of coconut oil if you've ever seen when coconut oil kind of hardens. It wasn't a big huge deal, but this looks like it's going to be much easier to work in. I'm going to hold the comb for the, or the pick for the first time. Okay, pretty solid. I don't know if I'd say it's the most high quality thing I've ever felt, but it definitely doesn't feel cheap. It feels like you should be able to run it through the beard. So again, I'm gonna be splitting. Remember, left side is gonna be the leave-in spray, and right side, which I'm more excited about because I've never used this product, is their leave-in hair conditioner. Credit to them, again, for not only making this openable, but giving you a full size in there. And we'll comb that through. Now, I know usually when people say it's not my favorite scent, this is like a gentle way of saying they don't like the smell. I want to reiterate, when I say that, I do mean that this is not my favorite scent out of the things that Scotch Porter makes. 
holding them to their own standard. As you open it and smell it, it does smell like something that is high quality, you know what I mean? It's something that you would expect them to sell you in another packaging somewhere else in a more high-end store and it'll be much more expensive than it is. So I'll give them credit on that. It's just not very long lasting to me as far as the scent. As far as what it's actually meant to do, which is not scent, it's supposed to condition, it works excellent. So I have to give them top ratings for what it's intended. But if we're just talking about the scent, the scent is okay. There's nothing incredible about it. It's forgettable. It's not something that you will remember a year from now and say, I wish I had that as a scent for a cologne or something like that. Now we're gonna go on the right side with the product that's new to me, which is their leave-in conditioner. Now they do make the specification whether you wanna see this as branding. They make sure they tell you what's not in here, which I like, sulfates and those things like that. It does come open. There's no seal on this. I like the smell of this much better. Like I said, I don't want to make it sound like I hate the smell of this. This is more of a smell that like when you're getting fresh for a date, this is something that if you don't have a very strong cologne on or you just go without a cologne and you're just going maybe just a body spray, you don't mind someone getting close to the beard and having this kind of scent on. A very clean smell using just about a dime's worth, which should be enough to do my whole beard. I'm so used to pouring for my whole beard, it's a little weird to just do one side. I'm overdoing it here. Work that in. I'm gonna do the whole of my mustache with it, just to emphasize that I really like how this one smells. So we're gonna use their curl pick. Now they specify in calling it a curl pick, now this is my first time actually using a pick. I have a pick. I've been hooked on this comb or comb brush, whatever you want to call it, since Lisa's got me that. I even still steal and use her purple one. I gotta say no resistance, but it feels like the difference with using a pick, and this might just be a pick, not necessarily this pick in particular, is that I'm getting that rounded shape where I'm able to manipulate the shape without patting it down as much. Usually when I brush through, I feel like I thoroughly get to it with the comb and then I have to kind of pat down the beard. And with this, I'm kind of getting to pull out the length of the beard and the shape all in one go. This kit is obviously I'm gonna go with it. It's a win. It is definitely worth the purchase. We're gonna keep this short and sweet. This is an absolute win so far with these three products already. This would have to be an absolute loss to lose this. I'm already saying it's a buy. Not really any smell to this. The only concern that I have with this is as I'm getting deeper into the beard community, there is a difference between what should go in your scalp here versus your beard here. Your beard here is said to be a little bit more vulnerable. I've always used scalp conditioners and those things to shave with. And even though I'm educating myself on those things, I don't think I'll necessarily stop that practice altogether. Maybe the one thing I would say is I'm not gonna use regular shampoo on my beard anymore. I will use like a hair wash because it doesn't have any sulfates in it. I am going to put a little bit of this on the beard because obviously as you can see, See, I am lacking with the scalp hair. I'm just gonna get a little bit. Already the win that I have to say is again on the texture. The texture is a lot smoother. Actually, I'll show you the other one that I had before. This is a specifically a beard balm. So this one is intended to go in the beard. You can see the texture difference. It comes a little gritty. If there's one drawback or one nitpick I can have with Scotch Porter so far is I feel like they could work on their scent game a little bit more. They do what they are intended to do, but you know, it doesn't mean they can't add a little bit of scent to them. Now, weirdly, I liked how the leave-in felt, but I can say that I feel the difference as I add the beard balm into the beard. As I said, this one is a little harder beard balm, this one's a little harder to work into because as you can see, I still have a little bit of the little grits um, left on my hand. I really have to work those in and make those kind of a little bit better there. Now, the trade-off is this. I'm always knocking them for scents. Remember, this is not in the kit. The Beard Bomb from Scotch Porter has a nice scent to it. 
This one's a little harder to work in, but has the payoff of a better scent. This doesn't really have a scent to it, which might actually work to your benefit if you're gonna go put on cologne or aftershave or whatever you use afterward. That's neutral to go put something else on. This has a smell where if you're gonna go with a lesser of a body spray or if you just wanna have multiple smells, this has a very excellent smell to it. So again, going over the things that are going to be in the kit, this is a win. Drawbacks, a uh, drawback that I have with most Scotch Porter things that I have tested so far. The scent is not great. It's, it's kind of forgettable, but if that's the only thing I'm gonna hold against them, that's the very least of your problems. It is worth a purchase on its own. This is totally new to me. This was what was on this side. I don't know if you guys can see a difference. I can slightly feel a little edge to this one being a slight bit softer feel slight edge so very excited would purchase this on its own it has a really good smell so the fact that this comes in a kit together is a win this which is intended for the scalp is much smoother than the beard balm or the one that I have there isn't much odor to it but it's very smooth and if I was comparing the two in the slight verses that I did this one edge with a slight little bit softer and then using the comb or the curl pick as they mentioned to call it I have to say it won't be the last time that I use a pick I like that the products also helped to make it that this is a smooth transition I'm not fighting at all as you can see it's going through my beard like my beard is CGI so yeah this kit is a full all-around win there's nothing in the kit that I could say ah, I could do without even this the only thing I could say is if I repurchase the kit obviously you don't need more than one of these but then throw this maybe in your travel bag or gym bags I leave it in the car or something like that this could be a little bit more premium if I'm finding things to nitpick but this is mostly pros this is worth a purchase and I hope you guys enjoyed this. But let me know below, have you gotten this kit? Are you looking to buy this kit? Tell me what you experience when you get your hands on these products. Scotch Porter keeps its immaculate record here on cutting up with no losses. Everything has been a buy so far. We'll see if they can keep the streak going in future reviews. And let me know what you guys think. Until the next time I'm cutting up, stay sharp and we out.